What's up, YouTube? And here I am. Another unboxing. It's that time again. And this was actually something I wasn't planning on buying. So I actually went to the mall today, um, went to Hallmark, get that little collectible figures, you know, one for each month's ornament thing. And you guys are like, oh god, here he goes, being all weird again. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. But I'm walking to the mall. I never really buy anything when I'm at the malls. Everything there is just too goddamn expensive. Let's be honest. Malls are expensive. Everything in the mall you can find somewhere else for a whole lot cheaper. So, I'm just walking to the mall and walking down the see FYE. I see signs all over FYE. The store is closing. The FYE in the mall, local mall, is closing. Did not know that. Check my email today, check my junk mail. There it is, my junk mail. Local FYE is closing 50 to 80% off everything. Minus certain items like Dre Beat headphones, which are still overly priced for what you get. And sale items. So stuff they don't want to blow out, they put on sale so they don't have to discount it. Which is fine. Whatever. But then I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. There's a couple items I am looking for. One, I did buy it. I'll do an unboxing of it for you when I get there which was the Beavis and Butthead Mike Judge Edition, Volume 2 and Volume 3. These have always been not expensive, but a tad more costly than what I'm wanting to spend on them. So, and I think the price that they have marked on them is as cheap as I've even seen them on sale at FYE, but whatever, I don't care. I'll get to those later. It'll be unboxing them, and I'll show you Volume 1, 2, is. Volume 2 and 3. 2 and 3 is still sealed, just so you know. They're right here. Sealed is going to be 1. It's open. I've had it for years. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about a CD. And I know I don't do many CDs because there's not many CD unboxings worth doing. I did the couple, and there was a couple of hot things that came out. I did the one to show you the little collectible that came with it. This one, in my opinion, is worth doing for the sake the band. What do you say? What do you say? It's been 20 years since this album. 20 years! Man, I mean, this album came out when I was almost 12 years old. It's crazy. But when it comes to metal, it comes to a band that stood up for what, what they believed, they stood up for their fans, they were one of the heaviest bands out there. You couldn't get enough of them, and to this day, a lot of their songs are done by other metal bands to this day. One band, one song that you know and you've heard by your favorite rock band out there, and I'm sure they've covered it either at that concert or on an album, is Walk. Walk you have heard by multiple rock slash metal bands. I know I have. I went to one concert and Event Sevenfold covered it, and then I went to another concert and I forgot who covered it. Some band I have, some group, some small, some, some second stage group covered it. And then I went to another concert and another band covered it. I've heard it. Like, I heard it three times at three different concerts. So it's covered by big bands and small bands. Everybody covers it. But this is it. This is the Pantera Far Beyond Driven 20th Anniversary. To this suggestion. To this suggestion. This comes with a newly remastered studio album and the full live show from Donington 94. Boom. Parental advisory sticker, too. Because we don't see many of those on albums anymore. I'm just going to tell you this right now. I bought a lot of albums that used to always have the parental advisory. A lot of albums don't have parental advisory stickers on anymore. So let's go look at what we got. We got this one. Far Beyond Driven. So let's try to show you the back. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to read the back to you. Far Beyond Driven. Song 1. Strengths Beyond Strengths, Storm 2, Becoming, Song 3, minutes, 5 Minutes Alone, 4, Broken Good Friends, and Bottle of, uh, a bottle of Pills, and Song 5, 6 is Hard in Line, Sunken Cheeks, Song 7, Slaughtered, Song 8, 25 Years, Song 9, Shredded Now, Shredded Shedding Skin, Ooh. Song 10, Use My Third Use My Third Arm, Song 11, Throws of Rejection, and song 12 is Planet Caravan. So that's the first 12 songs in the far, that's the 12 songs. Now for the album. Now for the live song. These are the ones you can't, far beyond bootleg. Song 1, Use My Third Arm. So you get two, got uh, that. Song 2, Walk. Song 3, Strengths Beyond Strengths. Song 4, 
Domination and Hollow. Song 5 is Slaughtered. Song 6 is Fucking Hostile. Song 7 is This Love. Song 8 is Mouth for War. And Song 9 is Cowboys from Hell. Just saying. I have a couple Bandera albums up there. I had a couple more, but when my best friend passed away, I actually dropped them off in his casket with some Steve Vai and some other stuff that I put in his casket with him. So he's rocking out six feet under, but he's enjoying every minute of it. Rest in peace, Troy. Still miss you to this day, bro, and it's been almost 14 years. So, just an FYI, if you have a loved one, a good friend, go give him a hug. Sentimental for me to you. But let's unbox this thing and see what you get. And I'm excited. I can't wait to listen to this. I may listen to some playing some Minecraft or something. I don't know. Excited. So anyway, so let's get this bad boy open. Um. Damn it. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to get it open now. Okay, there we go. Got it open. So it was $17.99. It's just on the sticker. FYE had it for half off. So we're talking under nine. About nine bucks for this thing. Nine bucks well spent. Just saying. So here we go. We have the cover off. There you go. Do, 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 do. There you go. Do, 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 do. And the side panels because everybody likes side panels. Alright. Let's open this bad boy up. So there's the inside. The first page. Woo! Be nice to put the right side on screen. And there's your CDs. Do, 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 do. So this is uh, Far Beyond Bootleg right here. And the one in the middle is your Far Beyond Driven. We have more stuff in here. Let me tell you this right now. We have more stuff in here. There's a booklet. There is a booklet. I like, that's one thing I do like with CDs is the booklets. Also, you could have went and downloaded it online for free. No. You could have went and downloaded it. It's probably even cheaper than nine bucks. Probably. But no. I, read, I like physical, physical copies of my stuff. One day I may worry about digital. And I'm getting digital with a lot of my games. But, um, this is what I collect. I like collecting. Okay, anyway. So there we go. Here's the... Boom! So, here we go. A April 94 debuts album of Pantera. Boom! I'm not reading all that to you, but if you buy it, you can read it for yourself. Okay. And then, you can read even more. You got four pages of crap to read. We're going to keep reading. From an interview with Dan Epstein on Revolver. That's where it's from. Some of the stuff is from. While every effort has been made to produce the best possible audio limitations in the material, drawn from various sources means the quality may not be up to standards usually expected. All tracks of this two of this release have been included in the historical importance and present an anthology for Pantera on stage, Monsters of Rock Festival 1994. Just saying. It says it right there at the bottom. All right. Boom. And your lyrics. I like how the lyrics are done in this album. Pretty cool. Uh, 1994. Even date 1994. Cool. More lyrics. Your Pantera group members are Philip and Selma or whatever. I'm going to screw up names. Pardon me. Vocals. Dimebag Daryl, rest in peace. Brother, you're missed in the music world. i tell you that much right now. Vinnie Paul on drums and Rex Brown on bass. And the Patera crew from Hell, Guy Sykes, tour manager, Aaron Barnes, sound engineer, Sony Satterfield, lighting director, Grady Champion, guitar tag, John Brooks, drum tag, Hager Levine, monitor engineer, Val Biscoskis, security, Daryl Armberger, band assistant, and Sterling Winfield, bass tag. So, good shout out right there. Good shout out right there to the stage, to the set, to the tour crew. Pretty awesome. I like shout outs like that. That's pretty good. I'm glad they got a shout out. Uh, all songs written and arranged by Pantera, except for Planet Caravan, written by Frank Lomi, John Osborne, and William Ward, and Terrence Butler. Okay. And then, we want to thank all of our friends, family, everyone in East One America, WA Distribution. Warner Music Worldwide, Warner Champion. Most of all, I want to thank our fans all over the world. You know who you are. We know. You know who you are, and we know who you are. You fucking roll. Boom. Always a shout out to the fans. 
thumbs up on fans, do shout out to the fans, because that's the point is, fans are why these fans are doing what they're doing. So there you go, this little snippet of what's inside, and because, so you the last page again, boom, there you go. So, um, I don't know if every FY is closing, I just know mine was. So this was a great pickup for under 10 bucks. Oops. Uh, this is actually one of the albums I wanted. I didn't know when I was going to get it because I knew it was about 20 bucks. Most places you went under 10 bucks for two discs. Pantera, whatever, it's Pantera. Who the fuck cares how much it is? I'm just on a budget, so fuck yeah. We'll enjoy it. I'll enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace out, motherfucker.